Ladies and gentlemen, this is Raj TV, and today I'm interviewing Mitchy, Dave, and Bao. Okay, guys, y'all just played an excellent show tonight. We just came back from it. And what's your name? Uh, you know what? I think this place is awesome. The venue is great. Uh, people were getting into it. I had a lot of fun myself, personally. So, what about you guys? I think uh, we played really well, and the crowd really got into it. This is by far the best, like one of the best venues so far. In How many do you have left? We have till the 19th, so. 19th? Yeah. You know, got like eight shows. Would it be until like 2007? Somewhere around there? What's that? Oh, about nine shows left? Nine shows until just for this part of it. Then we got other things going on. Okay, that's awesome. Um, the new album, Enter Deception, it's got some really catchy artwork on it. What, what gave you that idea? It reminds me of something like Wizard of Oz or. Actually, we just went ahead and let the, uh, we paid a French artist named J.P. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he, uh, he did all our work, so we just gave him the title and a reception, and that's what we came up with. Yeah, that was a great album. Y'all did an awesome recording job on it. Thank you. And you play just, like, perfectly on the street stage, so what do you do to prepare for shows? We jam like three times a week. <laughs> we're not too, we're not too early, but whole touring is tied to stuff as a band and shit. Yeah, so. definitely. Everybody's out there with the rituals and the shows, I guess. All of us, you know, we make an effort to stay really hydrated and drink a lot of water, all that stuff. And, mm -hmm. and that helps us have the energy that we need. Yeah, that's the place. It's some really good power metal. And y'all are compared to, like, my bands like Dragon Force and how intensified your sound is. What would probably be your dream band in Fort Worth? You know, honestly, Iron. <laughs> yeah. Can't mess with it. Honestly, you know, even though we do come from you know, people that come from power metal backgrounds and shit, I have that's, that's why. That's why I'm wearing. That's why I'm wearing. Oh, I see our name, Judas Priest, and Selma on the same day. That would all. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that would be awesome to see. Ass. Where did the name come from? Celador. Uh, is it like Celador, like your merchant It's, it's, turn. it's yeah. my turn. I think it's your turn. Your um, to handle the duties. No, it wasn't my idea. It was Chris's idea back uh, before any of us here were in the back, but back in 2000, 2002. They uh, they had a show book, but they had you know they had no name for the band in the venue. Called them, hey, you know, what's your band name, guys? And so he had he was put there on the spot, and they had a couple of days of they were kicking around, and he just set off the top of his head, Salvador, because uh, there's obvious you know, the J.R. Tolkien reference in that, and there's uh, and also I think a Spanish for man. I mean, it sounds cool. So there's a lot of meanings to it. Yeah. yeah. There was actually another band that went on tour for the New England uh, Hardcore Fest. It was actually Celador. Yeah, actually, us. yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. They yeah, spelled it completely yeah. They, they, they put an apostrophe in the middle. Yeah, it all really stuff. threw me off. Like, no, yeah, that Celador was us. Or something. No, that was us. We fucked it up. That's yeah. the yeah. drive, man. What's the metal scene in like in Nebraska? Not existent. Yeah, and then uh -huh. favorite bands you like to play around there? Because well, you got to have open. Actually, there's a band called Pariah. They're on a black market activities, which is you know, a branch of another place. So, you know, we're cool with those dudes. We usually play shows now. That's cool. Well, y'all, once again, played a great show tonight. It was good meeting you all. Definitely. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Celador on Raj TV.